it's Hope at Crafty Hope and welcome. It's week 24 of Crafty Hope prompts. If you are new here, I'm going to explain all of that. If you're returning, welcome back. Crafty Hope prompts is a mixed medium prompt card project that I developed. I started it back in October. That's how I'm on week 24. But if you want to play along, you are welcome to join in at any time as the prompts inspire you or as you get the prompts. Basically, there are 52 cards in a playing card deck in 52 weeks in a year, and I decided that I would create a prompt card every week for the 52 weeks of the year using a playing card. So I'm drawing three prompts a week and altering a card with those prompts. Um, this is week 23's card here. And I tend to have a functional side, which has the prompts on them, and a decorative side, which is decorative. Um, and these will serve as a prompt deck for me in the future where I can draw. My thought is to draw like three of them and use all the middle prompts or you know, the first one, second one, and third one of, you know, like the first one, this one, the second one on this one, and the third one on this one kind of thing. And just mix and match it so that I have a full prompt deck of these 156 prompts. Now, if you want that full list of prompts, I have a link to it below. You can draw your own prompts and play along, or you can use the prompts that I draw, and you don't have to make a card. If you don't want to build a prompt deck, you're not into altering playing cards, do whatever. Do an art journal page or make some jewelry or whatever it is that you are inspired to create with these three prompts. Like I said, it is week 24, and so it is time to draw some new prompts. So I'm going to put these first 23 weeks up, y'all, and look how thick that is. We're not even halfway through, and I have, like, more than doubled the size of this deck with my... I didn't want to make thick things like this weaving, but I'm being inspired to do that. All right, so we're going to pull some prompts. I'll mix these up just a little bit. And our first prompt for week 24 is rainbow. Oh my goodness, y'all, I'm excited about that because it is, it's March. And in March, you have the St. Patrick's Day with shamrocks and rainbows and leprechauns and all of that. So that's really kind of perfect, isn't it? So you can use rainbow in any kind of way. You can do the shape of a rainbow or the colors of a rainbow or just about anything. The word rainbow, there are lots of quotes about, you know, without rain, there wouldn't be rainbows or be a rainbow in someone's storm or, you know, things like that. So however rainbow inspires you, kind of go with that. Okay. I like that one. I'm really happy with that. This is, that's seasonal. I'm, I'm feeling that. All right, we're going to see what prompt number two is, and that is house. Okay, that's, that's a little, you know, all right. Um, for me in general, when I see the word house, I think of the general pentagon shape of a house. So I might do that. I've already got an idea for the project though, maybe. Ooh, yeah, I'm thinking about that. But um, you could do the shape of it. It can't, what else would be house? I, I don't know. That was what I was thinking is somehow to incorporate the shape of a house in something. Or you could think about bird houses or um, other structures like that, um, housing of things. You can draw that. You can pick out pictures out of a magazine of houses. I've got some, I think I've got some old black and white pictures of houses. So things like that, if you have a stamp with a house on it, something like that. Okay, so that's prompts one and two, rainbow and house. Let's get to prompt three, all right. Hopefully it is not another shape type one, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, it is dots. All right, this is, you know, that's no materials here. <laughs> that is all, hmm, rainbow house and dots. That is a lot of things going on there. So you can add dots in any way you want. You can draw them or use a paint pen or paint and do them. You can use like a tissue paper that has dots on it. Any way that dots is speaking to you. Um, stencils with dots, that would be good. All right, this this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to get my card out. 
and gather. I don't really have a whole lot to gather here, do I? I might go see if I've got uh, like an image of a house or something that I can use. So that could be fun. Um, yeah, but I guess we're going to get started on this. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but for Rainbow, the first thing I pulled out <laughs> was this, and it is just a crayon that has all the uh, rainbow colors, I suppose. It's got red, orange, yellow, green. I don't know that. Oh, it does have blue and indigo and violet, so it has all colors of the rainbow. It's just, you know, depending on how you turn it and move it, it makes different colors. So rainbow. Um, I also have several rainbow-ish stamps. I have this one. It's probably my favorite one. Um, oh, it looks like I've gotten some paint or something on it. Anyway, so there's that one. This one is vaguely reminiscent of a rainbow, and then this one is also a rainbow. I think it's damaged, though. Um, I don't know if you can see that, so I may have to test that out before I try it, but I'll likely use this one as it is my favorite. Um, so house, because I want to keep the cards thin, I went straight for magazine pages, and I have this image of a house, and this image of a house, and then I thought maybe I could also make, like, a greenhouse and use this magazine and cut out that pentagon house shape. So that's house, and then dot, I'm not super worried about <laughs> <laughs> um, because I figure I can make dots out of just about anything. I may go get some tissue paper. I might just use a paint pen. I, you know, I could do some Stabilo dots. I'm not sure at the moment, but I'm going to get started and we'll see how, how this card number 24 g goes. Oh my goodness, y'all. I recorded this whole card. And apparently most of the file got damaged. Um, the part that didn't get damaged, my battery had died and I switched it out. And so the end of the making of the card, I will have for y'all in just a minute. But I wanted to show y'all. So this is the card I end up making with my three prompts. I ended up doing the functional side first. And all I did was use some matte medium to collage down dictionary text. From there I used this big crayon and scribbled and all of that to get some of the markings in the background. You may be able to see those in the pictures at the end a little bit better. From there I used a Posca paint pen to make my dots and circled those with just a clicker ballpoint pen. I'm trying to think. Then I cut out a house shape from my magazine so I have the greenhouse there and I stuck down my prompts. It felt a little plan. Oh you know what else I did? Did I do it on this side? No that was on the other side. Okay so, um, so from there I, the house felt a little plan. I wanted it to feel a little more greenhouse -y and frame it up so I used another Posca pen to make these like doodled foliage things and I just did that by drawing the lines and just making little well, branches out. Then I started on this side, which I think most of that you'll get to see. The main thing I did was I used some Distress Oxide in Picked Raspberry to stamp that larger, I think it's still up here, yeah, the larger rainbow stamp on the background. And then I splattered this Reflex Yellow on it. Um, to make my dots, I used my Stabilo All Pencil, and I think that's about where the video picks up. So I am so sorry. Um, I wasn't real sure how to do this, and I hate to reveal the card before you get to see all of it. But we're going to pick up here. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, here's another look at this side. I really love it. I love these doodles here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that more often, I think. And it, the house shape turned out beautifully. All right, let's get to it. You can see the rest of this video. I apologize. Oh, I'm still so disappointed that y'all didn't get to see this. So here my Stabilo dots are drawn, and I wanted them to stand out. So I'm trying a white gel pen to go around them. And it doesn't really work the way I want it to. It's just not popping. So instead, I'm going to grab a different Signo gel pen, and this one is in silver. 
And so, yeah, I'm having a little bit of time trying to search for it here and go around these again. So, and that you can see that so much better. And so I'm liking that a lot. Like I said, this is just to make my dots pop a little bit more. I probably could have used even something better. So, but you can see that metallic kind of neat on it. From there, I had already decided on this image here of that house and I cut it down so it would fit in my card a little bit better and I'm moving it around and as I look at it I'm kind of not liking the super harsh edges of it so I knew I needed some kind of fabric and I'm bringing in that is uh, I believe it is a flower sack towel from the Dollar Tree um, they are kind of hard to find but I love that they're kind of an open weave they're not super thick so I really like using these so and this one's all bunched up and crazy but that's okay when I glue it down it'll straighten out a little so I'm cutting it down to a little bit better size um, not being super exact about it because I wanted the frayed edges so once I see okay that's just slightly larger than my picture I'm going to ink up the edges of my picture with some distress ink and walnut stain just use my little dabber tool I don't even know what you call that thing um and yeah I'm going to use my uhu glue stick and I'm using it straight onto the card and I'm being careful because I know that the distress oxide will blur a little bit so yeah I was making sure I only put it on the area I was going to cover up and then stuck the the picture down that magazine image down with it from there I wanted a sentiment and I decided since I had that silver on there to pull out these metallic words from Tim Holtz and found the one this is my happy place and so and in thinking about house I think about home and home is my happy place I'm I'm such a homebody y'all so this, you know, that kind of echoed here. So I'm just going to stick, I cut that down because it was too large for my card. So I cut that down a little bit and stuck it and I'll use a little bit of extra glue on the edges of, of that sticker just to see if they'll go down. They don't end up sticking great. I probably should have used something else. And I think from there, I decide to ink up the edges of the card just to frame it up a little using that same distress ink on the dabber. And then on the other side, you can see I've got that Faber-Castell pit pen out. I had traced my house on the greenhouse side with that pen. So I'm going to go around the outside edges of the other side of my card with that same Faber-Castell. And then y'all, that is it for this card. Again, I apologize that you didn't get to see any of that process. On the other side, I, I've devastated. I've, I think I need to buy a new SD card because that I don't want that to happen again. If you do like this, you know, give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. All the videos are not this crazy, I promise. And I will see y'all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.